In September of 2010, Dr. D. Barisma and her team of biologists loaded a small boat with equipment and headed to the Galapagos Islands. Their goal was to build birdhouses. The Galapagos Islands are volcanic lava. Digging in lava is not like digging in dirt, or even working with wood, as the team very quickly discovered. To build the birdhouses, they used lava plates and ramming rods. But why would anyone build birdhouses on black lava in the scorching heat? It could be said that Dr. Boresma and her team were doing nothing different than what ordinary people do when they build birdhouses for their backyards. You see, backyard birdhouses are a part of a group of nests called cavity nests. Cavity nests are chambers usually made of living or dead wood, but can also be made in dirt, rocks, and bushes. Some 80% of birds are cavity nesters. There are two types of cavity nesting birds, primary cavity nesting birds who build their own nests and secondary cavity nesting birds who take advantage of natural crevices in the dirt, rocks, and wood. Most birds are secondary cavity nesters. Generally, cavity nests provide the eggs, chicks, and adults with protection against the elements and predation. However, cavities can be so scarce that some bird populations are limited because there aren't cavities for the birds to use for nests. Food and water may be in abundance, but if there are not enough suitable nests, birds cannot breed or raise young. For penguin species that do not live in the Antarctic, finding nests that provide protection from the heat has proven to be a challenge. For the yellow-eyed penguin of New Zealand, the destruction of coastal forests for farming has caused there to be a shortage of natural cavity nests. This has prompted some conservationists to build A-frame wood houses for the yellow-eyed penguins to nest in. The little blue penguin usually nests in burrows and crevices and under bushes. But they like dry nesting boxes for shelter. In South Africa, the blistering summer heat has often caused the African penguin to abandon their nests in the sand to escape the heat. Nesting boxes installed where African penguins nest can keep the adult and nest contents cool. They offer better protection against egg-stealing gulls. The Galapagos penguin population is maybe one-fourth of what it was in the early 1970s. The Galapagos penguins are cavity nesters. Could their small population be a result of the lack of suitable nests? That is why Dr. Boresma and her team were in the Galapagos Islands building birdhouses. They set out to construct 120 suitable nests to see if they could help build the population of the endangered Galapagos penguin. Galapagos penguins need cool, dry nests to lay their eggs and raise their young. But where can nests be found on lava? The biologists tried their best to make the nests as attractive to the penguins as possible. They built the nests in clusters, high above sea level and deep enough to accommodate eggs, chicks, and adults. After two weeks of digging under the hot sun, the team finished the 120 nests and left the Galapagos, not knowing if their nests would be used. In July 2011, they discovered that out of the 120 nests that had been built, one nest had a chick and another had eggs. Upon further inspection, they discovered that one more nest had been used. This was enough to give them hope that their plan to build birdhouses might help save the Galapagos penguins. Building birdhouses may be tough work on the hot equator, but it may allow the Galapagos penguins to reproduce in greater numbers and increase their population. <laughs>